Hello everyone, Douglas here. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the log transparency, tape mask, mask. Very simple, but they are very useful. So let's say you painted a beautiful, beautiful tree trunk here. Awesome, right? But you want to paint only what's inside the tree trunk. Uh, you can paint on top, right? But let's say you paint something wrong here, and if you use eraser, you erase everything. You don't want that. So you can use log transparency if you click in this icon here in the layers window. You click here, you can paint everything inside without you worry to go outside. Look, I can paint here, it won't show. Only show what's inside here. So let's go back. What you can do? Create a new layer, right? Create a new layer here. Right click on it and choose clip mask. So now it will paint on top and we'll keep the past so you can be outside they won't show you, uh, it will paint only what's inside this is great for make a lighting or the shadow that you want to shadow here here you can use the erase and you won't lose the color base clip mask is very useful you can change the blend modes of the layers Make more Ooh. very useful as I said to make lighting or shadow. You can make a more clipping mask on the same layer base. Create a layer mask, paint clipping mask, paint here. Very cool, right? You can use mask inside the clip mask. So you click, right click on it. Add layer mask. Click here. So now you can, instead to use the eraser, you can use the mask to hide. Write the that is the you want to show great way if you don't are not sure it will work or not the color in the thick you don't want to erase and use the mask uh, you can use the mask uh, in the layer base too Right, to make your adjustments and find here. Make sure when you want to use the mask, use only black or white. Right. Black will hide, like here, we will hide in there. 
And if you want to show back the white, so you can. So, yeah. So you can make other shapes. And if you didn't like, just using white. You can use gray too, or any color here between white and black. Be more subtle. So you use out transparency to paint only in the pink area. Let's say you want a green, so it will paint only in the pink area here. You can make lots of variation of colors, lots of effects. I'm going to use this trunk to just erase this green area here. So I create a new layer, clip a mask. Don't forget to right click on it if you don't know the shortcut. Because I'm hitting the shortcut. Let's say you want to paint on top. Well, I told you, right? You can use the transparency mask. You could paint here. But I will show a high school way. Duplicate it. And to be honest, it's... Okay, duplicate and merge it. <laughs> duplicate again. And we're going to use, let's see, uh, hold control and click on top of this little rectangle in the layers. So it will select everything what's in the layer. Now, create a layer mask, right click on it and add a layer mask. Right click on the layer mask, on the layer mask in this little rectangle here. Right click on it and click on lock layer mask position. Now we can use the, the transform tool. Now hit Ctrl T on the, this rectangle here. Okay. And now you can change the position look this you can see the we can make lots of variation of textures I'm going to change your costs so it's easier for you to see okay uh, you can duplicate the layer uh, hit ctrl j right click on the layer and and duplicate the layer here. Now you can. And the size. We're going to make a nice texture. <laughs> for this sweet trunk. Without you paint. We just transform to. Remember you can erase it. Because it's in layer mask. Let's make a, a lighting. Let's say sun uh, is here. The lights coming here. Right? Sun uh, is here. So let's pick a yellow. And control. Click on the layer base. The left edge. Now it's everything select. Uh, right click on the layer 2. And add layer mask. So now we can paint on top of it. And the sun is here. Paint like this. And erase later. We'll pick eraser. And erase some parts. Now, duplicate the layer, uh, right click on it and duplicate. I recommend you to memorize the shortcut if you can. 
use keyboard right because it's easier so, okay let's duplicate again duplicate again and now we can erase this layer so use the erase to erase everything paint the let's paint the shadow area yeah, the way I'll pick a uh, pink. My white's pink. I think it's cool. Make a nice contrast here. Let's say you have a <laughs> a pink is a pink plant here. It's glowing, so it's glowing these parts of the trunk okay the magical plants here glowing so that's why it's pink use the eraser to erase the parts that we want by the way here uh, if you want to you, your brush to be the eraser uh, select your brush here uh, right click on it and copy brush preset and go to your erase which is e and, and right click uh, right click on it paste brush preset so that's why I have so many erasers here because <laughs> I like to have this like this to the eraser, right? So you can see here because my brush is this road dry and my eraser is the same thing. So my eraser has this nice texture. Cool, right? I like it. Like. Oops. Color dodge. Color dodge. Now, now that's it. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, uh, tell me in the comments.